December and Thanksgiving is right around the corner. I love Thanksgiving and I love all holidays actually, birthdays and Thanksgiving and whatnot that kind of put you in check and make you take a minute to appreciate what you have and be grateful. And there are lots of things to be grateful for and some things are more obvious than others, but Aside from that, I love the turkey dinner. It's like my favorite meal of the year. And every year we go over to my in-laws house for a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner and she usually puts out a, an amazing table and it got me thinking about place cards. So in this video, I wanted to show you some ideas that you can put together for the table setting. So check it out. So here's something rather cute. This is meant to look like a corn stalk and I've just put some raffia inside a little glass jar that I filled with the Reese's um, Bites. Let's see how I made it. Okay, the other name card that I have on the table is this cute little pine cone. This is super easy to do. I just bought a bag of pine cones at Michael's and then I bought some cute little decorative tags at Michael's as well and I found these in the bridal section. All I did was cut the tag off and then I wrote the name on the tag and then kind of wedged it into the top of the pine cone and you really don't even need glue. Um, if your pine cones shaped a little funky, you might need a little dab of glue. So the next idea is even more simple. All you do is get a cloth napkin and use the same decorative tags that I just showed you to write the person's name. And then what I did is I took off this string and replaced it with raffia. So it looks a little bit more festive. It's really simple and it's very functional. Everybody's gonna need a napkin. And this makes for a really simple name card. Okay, so to make these pilgrim hats, what you're going to need are small clay pots, and I picked these up at Michael's. They were like 69 cents each. And you're also going to need a couple of pieces of felt, black for the brim of the hat, and then yellow for the belt buckle of the hat. You're going to cut out a piece of the black felt that's a slightly bigger circumference than the clay pot. This is gonna be the brim of the hat. You're going to paint the pot so the top of it is going to be black and then choose any color for the rim. Feel free to embellish the top of the hat. I put little polka dots on it. Okay, so once your clay pot is dry, what you're going to do is just take your glue gun and you're going to apply a little bit of glue on the rim of the hat and then just place it onto the black felt. And for the belt buckle, just cut out a square from the yellow felt and then a square inside that. It's pretty self-explanatory. So that's pretty much it. What you can do on the opposite side of the belt buckle is write the person's name in a black permanent marker. And these end up looking very festive and cute. Let me know in the comments if you end up trying it. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching Top Mama TV. I hope that you will subscribe so that you can get updates on the videos that I will be posting weekly. And other than that, I hope that you and your friends and family have an amazing Thanksgiving and share the love. Thank you.